With the battery nut runner, DA1 allows precise and flexible tightening and loosening of bolts up to 4,700 newton meters. The DA1 is available in five sizes. The excellent performance to weight ratio and the ergonomic design permits easy handling of the nut runner and reduces the strain for the user. The operation trigger is used as an on-off switch. Irrespective of which position the operator holds the trigger in, the trigger will enable 100% power delivery to whatever setting the operator has set according to the torque table that is required. The rotation selector switch allows the direction of rotation to be changed easily and quickly. The center position locks the operation trigger, avoiding accidental activation during transportation. The battery can easily be removed and replaced. With a repeat accuracy of plus or minus 4%, the DA Netrunner meets the standard EN1090 of the steel industry. Prior to the bolting process, refer to the torque table for the corresponding setting. 60 torque combinations are pre-selectable based on four gear steps and 15 electronic power setting steps. In our example, the combination 2 and 14 is selected. The battery LED indicates the level of charge. Battery capacity indicator indicates the charge level. Charge level is indicated in 25% increments. The red LED indicates that the battery pack is empty and needs to be charged. If the battery is charged less than 30%, the handle LED will flash slowly after the operation trigger is pushed. The user needs to decide to replace the battery or whether the remaining charge capacity is sufficient for the remaining bolts. In this case, where the battery is not sufficiently charged, the LED on the enclosure will flash rapidly to indicate that the charge in the battery pack is not enough to achieve the set torque. To commence the bolting process, the nut runner is placed in position with an unlocked safety pivot. To achieve the pre-selected torque, sufficient rotation of the reaction arm in fresh air is necessary. Shortly before the reaction arm reaches its final position, the safety pivot needs to be locked. During the bolting process, it is essential the reaction arm be correctly positioned. This will ensure optimal absorption of the reaction counterforces. When the set torque is achieved, the nut runner will automatically stall. Additionally, it will sound an acoustic signal. Further tightening of the bolt is not necessary. Any further activation of the nut runner via the trigger could lead to a defective over-tightened fastening. When the bolting process is completed, the DA1 automatically reduces the reacting force, enabling the nut runner to be easily removed from the joint and can be placed on the next bolt to continue the bolting process. It may occur, in rare cases, that the DA1 does not automatically reduce the reaction force, a change of the rotation direction, as well as a short push of the operation trigger, allows safe and easy removal of the nut runner. Loosening of the bolts often requires a higher torque than tightening. Make sure that the tool and the accessories are used within the limitations of the torque table and performance of the tool. Set the control potentiometer to the icon of drill for loosening. The loosening setting is provided exclusively for loosening bolted joints and must not be used for tightening. The nut runner is placed in position on the bolt, allowing sufficient fresh air rotation of the reaction arm before it begins to react on the reaction surface. Prior to any loosening of the tightening process, 
Make sure that the safety pivot is locked. Loosening will begin when the operation trigger is pressed down. The DA1 can be used for the opening and closing of gate valves. The grab wheel adapter couples with the spokes. The relevant combination is set according to the desired torque. The turning process is started by pushing the operation trigger. The reaction forces are absorbed manually via a reaction lever. Apart from a battery nut runner, which is ready for use, also included in our scope of delivery are two torque performance charts, two lion battery packs and a fast charger. The batteries are partially charged. Before use, the batteries have to be fully charged. The LED of the charger indicates level of charge in the battery. A permanently illuminated yellow LED means the charger is connected to the mains and is ready for use. In order for the battery to charge, it needs to be slid into the battery charger housing until the stop point is reached. The battery is fully charged when the green LED is permanently illuminated. The flashing of the red LED shows that the charging is not possible. This may be caused by dirty contacts or defective batteries. Simultaneous green and red flashing indicates that the temperature of the batteries is outside acceptable limits. The mobile inverter is available as an option and allows the batteries to be charged on the road. It can be connected to a 12 volt power supply like a cigarette lighter or a car battery.